Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Francesca, I'm back with another response video. Today I'm going to be looking into something different. Um, there was just recently an assassination attempt on Donald Trump's life. I would like to review that footage with you and also kind of give you my take on all of it. Also, as well as it being a very pivotal point in history, in my opinion, and hopefully the opinion of many others, this should say a lot about the current state of affairs. I will be doing a response video to Tom McDonald's hero, but that will be at a later date because this is now taking my time slot for today. So I do apologize for that. However, this, like I said before, is, is pivotal and I would like to go over that with you and share my thoughts on that matter. So let's dive in and find out what it's all about. Something that said, take a look at what happened. Okay, so that was that. Um, apparently, Trump was shot in the ear. I'm not entirely sure the degree or angle at which he was shot. Um, I want to say it was probably left of the camera. Um, apparently, the Antifa shooter that has is responsible for this has been killed. That said, in history, there's very specific people who are assassinated in the United States, or there is an attempt at assassination. Abraham Lincoln, Andrew Jackson, JFK, all of these men have something in common. They were doing something that people with a lot of money and what, who wanted the power did not like or appreciate. So when I consider that and I consider Trump and I consider how he wants to quote unquote, make America great. Well, whether, no matter what your stance is on Trump, you can know from this assassination attempt that he is a threat to the state. The reason I say that is for a couple of reasons. One, just like JFK, this killer was shot immediately. He was killed immediately, so you never got to hear him talk. You never got to find out if someone put him up to this. I know that sounds crazy to some people, that people might actually be put up to things, but it does happen. People need to wake up and realize how bad things are. The fact that this is happening should say everything you need to know about the current state of affairs in the United States of America. I, there's not much I can say, especially on this platform, in regards to what really needs to be said. But when things get this bad, if things aren't done to prevent them, they only get worse. There is no turning back. So I'll be very honest. I'm I, like I said. I've said in the past. I've never been a huge fan of Trump. Um, I've never disliked him, though. At the same time, I think he's a little arrogant. He gets a little bit. He says some things he shouldn't sometimes. But honestly, I don't know what man over the age of sixty doesn't. But at the same time, this should never be a thing. If someone's being targeted in this way, first they targeted him legally right so everything was a witch hunt legally everything was a we're going to try to get you on any allegation possible so that we can prevent x y or z and now we have this situation where there's been an assassination attempt and he's actually been wounded that is a major problem and i hope people can understand that we need to start looking around and uh really pay attention. We need to five finger death punch this crap. <laughs> By that I mean I just my one of my last recent videos was on living the dream 
that's what it's like. We're all a bunch of zombies, and we haven't woken up, or at least a good portion of us haven't woken up. And we're not seeing this for what it is. And we really need to take this seriously, because things... It's up to us. We, we have more power than we realize, and that we either take we either take hold of that and do something with it or we stand by idly and watch everything go downhill. I love how they're all protecting him. So, I'm going to be honest, also, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Trump, I am definitely more supportive of him now, and in a way, I'm kind of rooting for him more. I'm very happy that he's fine, I'm very glad that he is, that they were not successful in actually killing him. I'm reasoning that more people that are sitting on the fence like me, who are independent thinkers, are going to kind of start leaning more towards him as well if they know anything about history and know anything about social dynamics. I just find it very sad that we're at this point again where the political ideologies are so incredibly opposite from one another that we hate each other this much. I don't have a whole whole lot to say after all that. I want to say again that I condemn any type of violence against anyone in this manner. I find it incredibly egregious and appalling that this is something that could happen and by doing so you're turning Trump into either a martyr if they're successful or <laughs> a soldier of war because now he's getting shot at mid-rally and God help him, I just, if he can stand back up after this, not dropping out of the race, standing strong no matter what, he's going to have my respect tenfold. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. I hope you all have a fantastic day. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for any content that you would like me to review, please put it in the comment section below. Everyone have a fantastic day and peace out.